In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this magic wand particle effect. You'll find the completed project file for download in the description. First, create a new solid and apply the CC particle world effect. Then you need to create the actual particle. To do that, we need to create a new composition. I'll create a 500 by 500 composition because full resolution is not needed. I'll draw a star using the star shape tool and adjust it to my liking. You can also use a picture or any other shape instead of the star if you want. Just make sure anything you have in this composition is white. You can use the fill effect if you insert a picture to make it white. Go back to your main comp and drag in the star composition. You can turn off the visibility since we won't be needing that. Select your solid and go into the particle options. Change the particle type to textured square. Open the texture drop down menu and select the star composition as the source. I'll also change the depth size to 0.5 and size variation to 100. This will make the star particles different sizes. You can also adjust the colors to your liking. And because we made our original particle white, it's easy to change the colors to what you actually want them to be. Next, you can experiment with the transfer mode. I'll go with add since I know I like how it looks the most. Close the particle panel and open the physics drop-down menu. Set the animation type to viscose, gravity to 0.3 and extra to 0. Then adjust the birth rate to 1.5 to decrease the amount of particles by a little. If you want the particles to last longer, you can increase the longevity, but I'll leave mine at the default value. Lastly, you can apply the glow effect and increase the radius to make everything blend more nicely. So the particle effect itself is done. Now we need to animate the wand and particles separately. Import and animate the wand as usual by using the position parameter and adjust the position of the particles in the producer section of the effects panel. I'm going for a transition-like animation, but you can do any movement. In the very end of the animation, place the particle producer far away from your frame so the particles are not visible anymore. Feel free to ask any questions or suggest ideas for future tutorials in the comments below. Like and subscribe for now.